Luckily, we got a great drummer in a great room, great sounding console. It's all starting to flow together. There's a few changes I might want to make with the mic positions. Uh, I want to get a little bit more clarity in the hi-hat. I don't think the tom mics are in exactly the right spot. They seem a little uh, unbalanced in terms of frequency spectrum and maybe not enough clarity of attack to the rack tom. Uh, I want to go out and check the kick. And I'll just move a couple of mics before I put finishing touches here. There's definitely more processing I'm going to add to some mics and maybe take out some processing on other mics. Um, I like what my far room mics sound like with a compressor, but they might actually be a little over the top. So I might just back the compressor off or maybe not even use it. And um, sometimes I'm putting a Poltec on my kick and snare that are basically just great tone controls, great loudness control. So it's almost like I'm getting the same kick and snare drum sound, but they're just a bigger version of it, like a tone control on an old stereo. So first we're going to go out and move a couple of microphones. So sometimes I throw some wild card mics into the equation. We talked about the trashy Altec microphone out in the middle of the room. So I'm going to move a couple of mics here just to get a little bit more clarity in the hi-hat. I'm going to take the mic, move it up a little bit so I get a little bit more stick attack there. It was sounding just a taste dark to me. Um, felt like the rack tom could use a little bit more presence and attack, so I'm going to aim it a little closer to where he's actually hitting the drum. And I'm going to do the same thing with the floor tom. Just bring that in a little bit, point it up, taste more towards the middle of the drum, see if that helps. Overheads sounding pretty good. Kick drum felt pretty good, but I'd love to get a little bit more bottom from it. So I'm going to just move the inside mic a tiny bit closer to the shell. See if I get a little bit more weight. Okay, and one last tweak. I might want a little bit more stereo spread in the room mics. So I'm going to make these a little wider. I'm going to, for the moment, leave the distance the same, but just spread them apart a little bit. Our trash mic sounds great. Our low kick drum mics sound really good. Our Close 47 sounds great. I'm just going to change the angle a tiny bit so I get a little less click of the kick drum in there. Okay, so I made a couple of little fixes in position here. We'll get Joey back in. I'll make some final tweaks in the control room. And I might actually try, not this moment, but I might actually try even livening up the room a taste. Pretty close, but feel like my spot where the compression uh, brings up the room, it's almost too much. But without that stereo compressor, it's a little boring sounding. So I might see if I can get a little bit more excitement out of the room itself. So let's find the drummer. It's always the problem. You always lose the drummer when you need him. Uh-oh. Sounded great. Great. Really cool. great. Um, yeah. I just moved a few mics. I wanted to get a little bit more clarity in the toms. Cool. Uh, move the kick a little bit, move the hi hat a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, you know, 70% of the way there. Sweet. I might change the acoustics in the room a tiny bit, but, uh -huh. but we're really uh, getting where we need to be. So if I can ask you to play a bit more for me. Of course. I did remember something. The, actually, the. Uh, Going back to the drum head thing, the kick drum head. Oh, power stroke. Yeah, super important. Yeah. Yeah, we have our favorite kick drum heads here in LA, and there's something called a Remo Power Stroke 3 that seems to be the winner for most sessions. Occasionally, a coated head is great for a little bit more tone, but once again, this is a big rock sound, so you want punch and clarity from the kick drum, so the, our lovely drum tech chose the right head, a Remo Power Stroke 3, is that, that's what it's called, that's, right? That is exactly what it's called, yeah. Great. All right.
Okay, let's see if our changes were for the better. Okay, Joey, we're back. Uh, if you don't mind, give me a little bit of that basic rock beat that we all know and love. Okay. <laughs> 